Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Splatoon 2. The Japanese Twitter account for Splatoon has been tweeting out a bunch of new information about the game, including some of the new clothes lines, which we haven't really been covering that deeply because, well, it's just really fashion. However, yesterday and today they tweeted out new information on new sub-weapons that are coming to the game, and they're actually going to be playable with the E3 demo. The first is the Poison Mist. When used, it covers a given area in dubious mist of your team's color. It will not do anything to your teammates, but when an opponent enters the mist, their movements are slowed and they start losing ink gradually. The longer one stays in that mist, the more ink they lose. Pretty useful when you want to block the way to your opponents and force them to find an alternate path or take the risk of facing you in a weakened state. In addition, there's the robot bomb. If your opponent is hiding somewhere, then you can use those cute little robots. They walk around and if they detect someone, they will get near them and explode. So it's kind of like a new seeker. But yeah, we're finally getting new information on the new sub-weapons that are coming to Splatoon 2, and so far they seem pretty fun, creative, and have some real strategy to them. But what do you guys think about these new sub-weapons? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Splatoon and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.